So games these days seem to feel the need that they always need to pad the length. Like, if you buy a game, it has to be 20 hours or more. And frankly, I'm sick of it. I am sick of having the bigger map, the bigger story, the longer runtime. It. I'm sick of it because I'm sorry, I don't have time in my day to sit and play this anymore. So tell your story, tell it in a well-paced way, and please stop making me drive 25 minutes to get from objective A to objective B. For the love of God, bigger is not always better. Let's get into the discussion. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. Hey everyone, welcome to A Drink With Crazy and thank you so much for checking out the channel and do us a huge favor by hitting that subscribe button and ringing the notification bell if you like what we are talking about on the channel. And today we are talking about... Oh, pacing in games and games being too long. I have experienced that. Yes, we both have. <laughs> uh, a couple weekends back, we did The, uh, the Last of Us Part 2 and... You know, regardless of you, what you think of the game, guys, it is too long for what it's trying to do. Um, there are a lot of games that I, I think fall into that trap. Oh, yeah. No. Um, it's not alone. No, no, it's not. It, it really isn't. Um, I find myself, if I'm playing uh, games of that nature, yeah. getting to a point where... Bigger isn't always better. I'm sorry, Assassin's Creed is too no, and, and large I, now. I, I very, very distinctly remember feeling this fact, and I even looked it up at the time to see if other people shared my sentiments with this, because I booted up Assassin's Creed Origins, the one in Egypt, right? And I'm sitting there, and I'm looking at the map, and it's just Egypt. And you're just like, okay, that's actually rather impressive from like a technical sort of achievement, but... I don't want to have to ride on horseback that long. Like, you know, especially when you have just dead zones well, where there's nothing happening. And there's, there's a difference between having a massive story and just having a massive playing space. And honestly, both can be a problem, I think. I really do think this. Um, I, well, because... I, or I, Well, and I, let me add what, a third one in there. Yeah, sure. Massive story, massive playing space, massive length of time indeed because the length of time one really grinds my gears a lot it, it does and i mean there are ways that you can absolutely have very long games um that work i mean obviously red dead redemption 2 and even that i think has its pacing faults mm -hmm. um it's very 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 good game very good game but the main campaign takes you 80 hours the witcher 3 very good game main campaign if you bull rush it takes 50 and the difference, I'd say, is that both of these games are very much deserving of their runtime, but if they had trimmed it down by 10%, 20 they might have been even tighter. It's one of the reasons I, I, I look at maybe some MMOs and stuff like that. MMOs are hard because those are uh, designed around repetition, right? No, is that you're trying to keep that subscriber base? You're trying to keep that well, up. But, but but that's exactly like the thing that I just look at and I go, I'm 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 good because it's it, it gets to a point. It's like I want to. Ha I I wish we could have games and stories where it's like I beat it. We're good. I got it. It's 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 fun under 15 hours. And let me go to the multiplayer if you have one. Let me let me. Finish the campaign and go play the multiplayer. Uh, games that have done this really well would be like um, Halo 2, Halo 3. Um, actually, uh, the StarCraft uh, 2 trilogy. Um, we say trilogy even though technically the last two are expansions. Um, but the full campaigns are 10 hours or more. So Well, and, and I fall into this place where I, I, I don't want to play a video game as long as it takes me to work. Right? Like, if you're competing with my work week, in terms of your completion time, we have a problem here. Well, that's the thing. And people go, well, there's 40 hours. I'm like, guys, keep in mind. 40 hours. And here's what I want people to ask themselves. And this is a very serious question. Right, right, right. How much money do you make in 40 hours? Yeah. No, that's, okay. actually, that's actually a really and, valid and, and point. And that's where I have kind of a problem with, especially a game like The Last of Us 2. Well, especially which, with, when it was, it's and, and you are cruising through that. 
as uh, best as I could. And, um, and it still took, I mean, because we had to take some breaks here and there. I, I'd say raw gameplay is anywhere between 17 to 19 hours. I average about 18. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, you, that, uh, but I mean, you figure, you know, for me, a that's... A third of that was unnecessary. For me, you know, that's two days worth of work because I work yeah. 10 hour days. Yeah. For other people, yeah. that's two and a half days worth of work. How much, how much money? So if time is money and you make money at your job, how much money can you make, you know, versus spending that much time playing a video game? Well, it's not even a matter of, well, you know, because obviously at, people use uh, gaming as kind of like their downtime sort of thing, right? And so, you know, well, I, if, you, I, if you figure if somebody's in your position, right, and they go out and spend money on a video game, they want to not spend more money for a good long while, right? That That is the kind of the... The, the goal of well, this I, length. But, but my issue is just the padding and the fact that we make the maps so big and so much dead zone between the like interactive areas. Like You can drive on a path for 20 minutes and nothing happens. This is actually something uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 did very well, is there was always spontaneous things happening. Mm -hmm. Right, You save a man being attacked by wolves, uh, a woman trapped under her dying horse. Um, things would happen to make that journey interesting, and they were randomized, so they were unique. Well, um, it's, I still think Red Dead Redemption 2 is a bit on the long side for its plot, but not so egregious as something like an Assassin's Creed Origins or a certainly a Last of Us 2. Well, and, and I, I will say this. One of the games that is a little bit long, uh, it's not hugely long once you know what to do. Right, but right. But figuring it out, think about... You know, Breath of the Wild. You see, now Which, that's also now, going now, on that open world style. Yeah, well, well, yeah. Uh, but but it is the open world style. But the question is here is, was there enough to do in that open world? And Not the, having I, played it, I, I can't actually speak I, to I, that. I've, I've, I've played a little bit, watched my wife play a lot. In fact, I watched my, my, my wife beat the game. Right. And there, there were uh, periods there where... Five, ten minutes would go by. And nothing is... And, and nothing is happening. And you kind of go, okay, I get the expansiveness. And then there's an explore, There's an exploration. I think that that's the thing. Is a, I think a lot of these game developers are hoping for exploration. But the problem is, is that exploration should maybe come later. Well, maybe as, uh, a, as a... As a... Uh, as a... Uh, there, there are... Story plus type thing yeah indeed and here's um the thing right is that uh take the witcher 3 which i think is probably the best paced out of these uber long games right mm -hmm. um the witcher 3 i think a completionist run will take you 90 to 100 plus hours right but there are always things on the beaten path to find there are always witcher contracts there are always new story beats that tie in very very well into the main game that push the narrative forward even if you're not doing the quote-unquote main quest Everything starts to tie in. Going and helping your buddy from Assassin's Creed 2, or Assassin's Creed, Witcher 2. Um, it's Assassins of Kings, so forgive me on that one. Um, but no, going and helping him from Witcher 2 ties into another side quest, which ties into the main plot. So all this stuff really bleeds in very well, and you start to say, okay, yeah, no, this is worth its length. But when I look at Assassin's Creed Origins... I'm sitting there going, okay, so I help a farmer get rid of the crocodiles in his pond. Well, so, so one of the games that... And, Why is and, this and, here? And this may or may not... And a game that's already as long as it is. And this may or may not apply, but I remember one of the games where I, when I first experienced just just big map-isms. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I, I just... That's the only word I can come up with. You sit but there and you stare at the map it, and go, it, really? It was, it was yeah. Star Wars The Old Republic. Which, oh, the MMO. But that is an MMO. But yeah. it is an MMO. Yeah. And so yeah. I understand there are some things to get there. But being a console player and having played, obviously, the Knights of the Old Republic 1, the Knights of the Old Republic 2, uh, more 2 than 1. But I look at it and I go, okay, well, if I'm really dedicated, I can beat the game, beat Knights of the Old Republic 2 in 10 hours, 16 hours if I'm really looking for stuff. Yeah, right, right. And... You know, the Old Republic was the first game that I really experienced, and this was, I mean, I hell, almost a decade ago at this point. Right. But it was one of those games I was just like, why am I walking for so damn long? No, indeed. And why, it's, does it, why does it need to be? Because there was still a story there. There was still... And this comes back to the pacing thing, right? Is that why do we have so much, you know, 
dead space in between our objective areas. And uh, Dragon Age Inquisition is really guilty of this. In fact, EA and uh, Bioware had to put out a kind of a PSA saying, uh, please leave the hinterlands because you guys are doing too much completionist stuff here and there's more game. Like if you stretch your game and you pad your game for so long that you actually have to put out a PSA to say, leave, well, maybe what, your design is flawed. It's what has me really concerned about Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Because right. Especially no, absolutely. The, 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 the articles that I've seen are, it's the biggest map that you've... Considering that Odyssey, I think... does not mean Considering good. Odyssey also had the biggest map. But ready? And, ready? Yeah. Ready? Right, ready? right. I'm going to coin a term right now. Yeah. Yeah. Big map don't mean good map. No, it's how you use it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a, the, uh, a big map does not mean a good map. No, and, and I, I mean, I, Ubisoft I, has also seen this with um, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. They had the largest rendered map of any video game to date. It, I forget the square mileage. They put in kilometers because they're French. But um, no, it was the biggest rendered map. <laughs> I broke him. Uh, it was the biggest rendered map of any video game to date. Thanks, Dick. <laughs> you know I'm descended from French. That's why I threw it out there. I hate you. Um, but, I actually am, too. I actually am descended. Uh, but, no, it's... um. You bastard. <laughs> and they put nothing in it. There is nothing to do in that big French map. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I broke him. I broke him. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need. He's, to, he's plotting his I, retribution. I, 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 uh, I need to. Uh, uh, <laughs> but no, I, Matt I, may not be on the next a drink with crazy. <laughs> For legal reasons, this is a joke. Uh, Maybe. I'm not convinced. <laughs> Go on. No, back on point. Sorry. Um, no, I'm sorry. Ma- no, I'm sorry. Maps are getting way too big for their. Uh, for their gameplay, and you've got to give objectives, you've got to give story, you've oh, got to give, you know, actual interactivity in your map. Let's let's not forget runtime. Oh yeah, because because there is a even. Oh no, scripted games can be, do this too. Scripted games. Okay, The Last of Us Two was horribly guilty of this. Oh my is god, that, was it? Is that although yes, you were always maybe fighting something because it. But it's padding. It's filler. It was padding. It was filler. It felt so long that it was it was hard to get over. No, it took. It was, it, it, there were so many combat encounters in that. Whether it's against well, the infected and, and, or the and humans, too many and too many uh, um, uh, people to fight, zombies to fight in those combat. Oh, I know. It's not you know obviously half a dozen. It's you know a dozen or more. Yeah, and it and between the stealth the the stealth mechanics and the. Oh, look at our visuals, and I get tired of the look at our visuals thing. Just look at that view. Because that is what? Naughty Dog's catchphrase, yeah, I guess, swear guess, to God. Here's the thing. Check this out. Guess what? Look at our visuals. Yes. Gamers expect that. Okay, guess what? Especially from it's AAA. Not it's not this. Look at our visuals, and gamers go, oh my God, the visuals. They'll be, like, they'll be like, look at our visuals, and we're like, yeah, and looks where's good. my story? Yeah, cool. Looks good, guys. Because it's an expectation that no the the, gra- the, the graphic developers- the graphic war has narrowed so much that you really have to have killer content in there and that is a term that I've seen a lot over the last five years is killer versus filler right is that if you I don't ha- disagree if you have so much filler in your content that you're diluting your killer content you're not only dampening your mechanics your gameplay but you're also dampening any narrative you might have. And I'd say that Origins walks a very fine line between those two things. Very fine. Um, Odyssey, I think, tipped that scale. I've not played a ton of Odyssey. But it, it absolutely has more padding than it needs to. Um, and, and then The Last of Us 2, I would say, had 30% more content than it needed. Or it even should have had. Like, that game was 30% longer than it should have been. That's what I'm going to say. Because they wanted that... We only have single player. Multiplayer comes later. So we are going to sit here and we are just going to pad this thing for so and, long. And, and here's the that thing. Is that, that's, what, that's what most of 
most of that game felt like, and I think that that's where a lot of the plot contrivances come from. Well, because all of a sudden you realize, oh, we haven't touched on this character for three hours. Well, so you figure if it's 30% longer than it should have been, and you cleared it because I was watching. Yeah. And I know you were kind of just... That, and that, you, you cleared it on easy, too. You literally were like, because this is the guy who's like, I have a problem with easy mode. And I'm like, dude, no, this game yeah. is long. Yeah. And, Yep. This is the guy that plays everything on hard mode, and it still took him legendary for life hours to finish something on. Did you easy or normal? I, I did uh, light, which is what they. Uh, but I set the um, enemy detection damage everything to uh, the normal. I basically what I did is I. It, yeah, it was he, some hodgepodge so between. He was like a light normal. Yeah. But anyway, but this is a guy who plays everything on hard, and I've actually seen him play some stuff on hard. He's fairly competent. It still took him eighteen fairly. hours. To do 18 <laughs> hours and you sit there and, and the problem is, is most of the encounters were just padding. You didn't need most of it. You didn't know, need... especially, especially in the, um, the second half of the game, right? I'm trying to keep this uh, spoiler free. Yeah, no, no, I think if you want to see spoilers, free. we have reviews. We have yeah, a top we'll 10 link it down in the description. Um, but um, spoiler free is there were so many encounters in the second half of the game that just felt extra, especially um, towards the end. Right. After we got, you know, pushing towards that finale, it was just like, okay, why do I need a 20 plus enemy combat section here? Why? Why? We've already had our kind of our climax, and now we're trying to rebuild to a climax. And it's, you've lost the pacing. There is no impetus here for these characters. Well, and so, and it's not the only game to do this. I've seen this a lot. Uh, the Killzone game that came out when the PS4 launched was very guilty of this. In which the plot just sat there and spun its wheels. I mean, it, it's just... I am so tired of games trying to sell themselves well, game, based on their runtime. Or devs, their map size. Game devs think that... Sorry. <laughs> longer is... No, no, you're totally fine. Game yeah. devs think that longer is better, and it's not. No, it's not. I'm sorry, still one of my highest regarded games of all time. And I've I've seen a lot of games at this point, right? Because I've I've learned a lot to because because you're a gamer and and so I've yeah. learned a lot to be able to talk to right. you, yeah. And I've played more games now, and I I still think my number one is Kotor two. Kotor two is a very very good game. And it's guess very what? well paced. The graphics ain't that good. The controls they were, ain't that good. Well, they were the fine sound, for 04. <laughs> well, they were fine for 04. The sound yeah. design. Wasn't even that good for 04. No, sound was a little weak in that one. But guess what? Outside of the music, John But Williams. guess what? The story and what you could find out. If well, that's it, even true of The Last of Us Part 1. And that's the thing is, I didn't play the amount of hours in KOTOR 2 because it was a long game. I played the amount of hours in KOTOR 2 is because I realized, wait, I can learn more. Right, because I liked repay, that first that run replayability. Through. So I yeah. went back to play more. I was like, oh well, I didn't unlock these these couple of areas. Well, that's why unlock. I've played Bioshock then, so much is because it, you can learn more. And I think honestly, if game devs really want to get people to play their games longer, is give a good story, but like Kotor two did, make sure path you build, extra. build your characters differently if you want to unlock other parts of the story. Because then over the course of well, maybe Bioshock, like for me, it, it took uh, I think. Uh, I want to say six, seven, seven, because I, I did, I did an extra dark side that I didn't need. To oh, right. <laughs> but I think it took me seven playthroughs Dick. all the way to the end. I didn't beat. I beat the game twice. Right. No, three times. I beat ah. the game th twice on dark because yay. Once Dick. on light. Dick. But I, I, <laughs> I, but I went through the game seven times all the way to the end. Right. I knew there was no more story. But the thing was, is that how I built my character, how I unlocked different computer modules, how I did these other different things. Oh, no, abs it, it ab unlocked absolutely. more absolutely. story for me. It kind of had that Superman 64 thing. That, that, that suffered from visuals, controls, yeah, the, mechanics. The, the, yes. Yeah, that, that, that did, suffered from a lot. But it was, <laughs> do you want to learn more about the story? Play our game more. But work it differently well, next Bi time. Well, Bioshock did I that very that, well, too. Because yeah. I think, no, and I think you're right. Well, Bioshock. Game. Well, you, keep in mind, even that game, its last quarter or so, is a little bit padded. No, no, but there's always padding in games. And I yeah. don't mind a game that has padding, because everything has to have padding. TV has to have padding. Movies have to have... All, Walking all, Dead certainly had padding. TV, Looking all, at you, all season two. <laughs> yeah. All television shows, all movies, and all games have padding to a certain extent. 
It's how much is acceptable. And I think anymore, game devs just think that just all padding all the time is acceptable. Well, and, and also, sorry, just it's that, not just that time of the month. The repetition of it, too. <laughs> I caught it. I'm ignoring it. Um, it's... Uh, Damn it. Um, <laughs> I got you, you son of a yeah, bitch. Yeah, you did. I got you. You derailed me. No, but... <laughs> No, they want the padding. And so much of it is just negligible the what crap. Now? I heard that. Um, it's just, you know, why in Assassin's Creed Unity do we need an entire Parisian city of just nonsense? Collecting flags, collecting feathers. Stop padding your games because you feel like you're giving more value. You are not. I'd rather play... Two hours of really good content than six of really mediocre. Well, and here's the thing is I think if game devs start making shorter games that just really good, concise, short, to the point content. And by short, I mean 10 hours, 10, 15 hours. I think that's reasonable. I think 10 to 15 is a totally acceptable. And, you know, and not, not like trying to race through it. Wow. All right. Yeah, but <laughs> 10 to 15 hours. Uh, well, 10 to 12 hours are really good. They can get... More games out, more money to them, and more enjoyment out of their people who will want to buy more games. Basically, uh, one of the ex-Sony uh, heads came out saying, uh, you know, let's do shorter games with tighter content, and I'm agreeing with him. It like, is 100%. Let's do a 15-hour game with a decent multiplayer every three years as opposed to a 30-hour game every six. Totally agree. I totally and agree. let's pace them better. Let's get them better written. And I think we'll see a lot better content coming out. That That's I, just I where totally I'm at. Agree. Yeah. yeah, I totally agree. All right, agree. Well, we are out of time, yes. so. <laughs> well, thank you all so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. And if you guys enjoy what we are doing, don't forget to go uh, down below, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and wait until the end where you can click on some more videos that we did. And who knows, maybe something will pop up that you like that we talk about. Or comment down below and tell us what you want us to talk about because maybe we know something about what you do and maybe we don't know something about what you do. Do, and we, we get something else to, to nerd out on. And I guarantee you, it'll be better pace than The Last of Us 2. Later, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Have a good one. Cheers. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.